know this video is gonna be a little bit longer than the other videos but I also want to make another disclaimer there's I don't know I'm just gonna be trying to do my best I can some kind of foods can be a little bit of fail because I really try to do it like different ways every single time to make something different and unique and sometimes it'll work that way so I hope you guys enjoy this video and understand that so please don't come at me if this video is longer than 20 minutes so I hope everyone enjoy I will try to do the best I can to keep it short and sweet for every one of you hello everyone how are you it's Kate here I hope everyone is having a great day and a blessed day so far and today's video ta -da -da -da, I'm going to be doing my favorite meals of the day as a breakfast lunch and dinner yes I have no shirt this for so long because I think this is like my secret in like just my favorite meals um, that I don't do often um, I wish I can do it pretty much like every single day but this is like totally like sometimes in a while I do it myself and they're so good sometimes I cheat a little bit because uh, it takes so much time especially now with baby it's not the same thing so I hope you guys enjoy this video for my secret food so before we get started go ahead and subscribe to my channel so i upload once a week i love mommy things me things a lot of things around and even cleaning things so yeah i love a lot of things so this is my channel welcome welcome back so i hope you guys enjoy this little corner of me here so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you what are my favorite meals that i can cook often but i wish i could do it every single day so i'm gonna need this tray and this tray i have this vinyl baking sheets that i love it's amazing for that also i do have here my wooden cutter i do have my knife i have my roller to roll so the ingredients for this one it's very very simple and i do love it like honestly this is so good so I will need some pastry puff. I will need an egg. Secret ingredients is salami. And I have my Parmesan artichoke spinach dip. This one is already done, but sometimes I make it by scratch, but it takes so much time that I go to Costco and get this one and just add eggs. And don't tell my secret. It tastes so good. Now we're just going to do like our pop. So I'm just gonna put the camera on now so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. So I grabbed this pastor's puff and I put it right here this way. And that's okay, it's look a little bit crazy. What I do is just go and just do this a little bit both sides, getting some stretch. So sometimes I do this, right? And trying to cut. And I just remove this, guys. And we can use this for something else, so. So, what I do sometimes is to just grab this guy and I try to like fluff it out and go and do this. A little bow in it. I grab my tray and I just locate it right there. for about five minutes in the oven so I will put this right now for five minutes in the oven to cook okay so that is about five minutes right now in the oven so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack an egg I'm gonna grab my artichokes um, spinach right here and I'm just gonna get a spoon And 
now I'm just going to mix this together. So adding some salami, it's not much, and I keep Okay, so here I have this um, chicken breast that I'm gonna be uh, seasoning for tonight. So I like to leave it for a couple of hours, so I will put a little bit of pepper, some salt. It looks like a lot, but it's not. And some garlic. Splash of some oil. I'm gonna let this sit for about five hours until it's dinner time. So it's gonna be about four-ish that I'm gonna be starting cooking because my husband came five, five thirty-ish. So to get all the dinner out. So this is gonna be getting all the flavors until dinner time. So this is done for five minutes. It's taking this guys out, so it looks like this right now. Um. So what I'm going to be doing at this point, so I'm just going to put some of the butter in here and I'm just going to place this guy. So I have this guys right here, so now what I'm going to be doing is just grabbing the filling and pouring into. Okay, so now we put this guys in the oven for 20 minutes to 25 minutes and we just wait. We just only have about like five seconds pretty much to get this out and I'm so excited! Hopefully they look good because otherwise I will be crying. Because it's not the first time that happens and we have a mess. So, so there it is. That looks so good and so yummy. I just take it out and this is how it looks like. They look so so cute so let me show you. Okay so they came out out of the oven. I'm taking out. And they look so good. I thought it's gonna be so awful, but it looks so good and yummy. So this is one of the meals I make four. So I just gonna eat one and I put some fruits in the sides. I save the other one for my husband's tomorrow. So and the other two I can um, also put in the fridge if I do some extras and do it the next time. But those are good and yummy and very healthy. So yeah, this is like one of my favorite meals that I don't do often. Try one. Okay, guys, so it's lunchtime, and this is like one of my favorite foods for like the day. I I have no idea how to make some of these things. Sometimes I cook all the ingredients and I make them by scratch. And it's kind of hard to do and get that consistency really good. Um, it's more like a Mediterranean food, but sometimes I get a little bit more uh, different and make other things. So, I'm gonna have some falafel. I do have some things from Trader Joe's that I got. So, it's gonna be falafel. I have some Mediterranean style hummus. I put some avocado, don't come at me. I have some black olives. I got some tomatoes. I got some garlic. I have some bread. I have some parsley. And some balsamic vinegar. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the bread with some garlic and with a little bit of the uh, parsley and do that and get a little bit of that creamy and yumminess all together because it 
it's so good. I don't like it like plain like that, so that's the way I'm gonna do so. Okay, so I got my skillet here, so I'm just gonna turn it on and and low. And also I have my pan again, same thing. I just like wipe it down. And I'm going to put some um my falafels and put them in the oven. So I'm just gonna grab some butter and I will put that in there. I'm going to get some garlic. Probably that's a lot too. And and also I will add here parsley and add it all together. Okay, so when it's like that, all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna grab this piece of pan pita of pita bread and I'm just going to like unified all the flavors together and then I'm going to be moving to this area now to prepare the plate and show you the little sides that I do um, to keep with that meal that is really good and pretty much and this is like my plate it's small, it's not that big, so this is, I have all the portions so I don't think that I need to fold like the whole plate but this is so fulfilled that I really enjoy it. At this point I'm going to have black olives and some uh, tomatoes and I'm going to put it here in this little plate, it's like a bowl plate and I'm going to add some avocado. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, right now with some balsamic vinegar. This is so good and I love this part. something that happens. I didn't pay too much attention to the bread so rip the bread. So uh, It's so delicious anyway so I'm just going to pot it like that. Okay so I have my plate here so I'm just going to grab the bread and doing it around like that. I'm going to grab some hummus because why not? I think this sh should be enough for me. And now I'm just gonna add the, the salad with avocados because it's so good. I wish I had dolmas too. But I don't. Okay, so here are the falafel. And they're very toasty. Okay, so this is like one of my favorite foods. Like this is so easy. Like sometimes I wish how to do all that consistency and I have tried it and sometimes is not that perfect. To be honest, they don't taste the same. I'm not Mediterranean. I think my family has something, but um, I love Mediterranean food a lot. It's like very yummy and delicious. And this is something that I make at home. Like this is honestly so good. I will try it. I know the inside my bread and one side, but This is so good. This is so good that honestly you can eat this every day. I can't, I can't live without. Sometimes when we go out, I'm like, I need some Mediterranean food. And 
I can find these things in Trader Joe's and pretty much it tastes kind of the same similar when I go to a Mediterranean restaurant but I don't know what it is but it tastes so good and yummy and this is pretty healthy like it's so yummy I can't wait to eat it now for lunch I'm so hungry It's dinner time. What I'm going to need. Do you guys remember the chicken I did this morning with salt and pepper and garlic? There it is. Ugh, I wish you guys could smell it. It's, it smells so good. It's so delicious and yummy in here. Like, ugh, it's a lot of flavors. Okay, I think we're going to start. We're going to need to make this yummy. Yummy dinner and then I'm so excited. Like it's so good. It's I know it probably will sounds awful, but it's so good. So you're gonna need some ground mustard, you're gonna need an apple, you're gonna need an onion. Don't judge me for the onion. I used it yesterday, so I'm gonna use it again. I need some butter, so sometimes I buy the butter, you know, and just cut it in half and just I don't have a bow space so I got a little bag and that's that um, I got some broccoli so the other ones I put in the fridge so I bought it on Costco so instead of being like just in case I didn't use it in that week so I can use it next week so I got some broccoli I got some heavy whipped cream and obviously I'm gonna need some green beans because this is going to be good Okay, so first thing I'm going to be doing, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this apple, just like regular um, way to cut it, like round, like some bisque. Um, and that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm just gonna grab a little plate and I need to put this in the microwave for about five minutes. It's not to cooking, it's just to put it like a little bit more um, soft to it. So you put a little bit of the clear paper in, in the microwave for five minutes. And so we need to add the onions too. So I'm just going to cut as well this guys right here that I have and I think like this three should be enough. What we need to do is pull this all together, put a plastic paper and in the microwave for five minutes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab some of the green beans to start cooking. So the things I like to do is just grab some and put it all like in a line and cut the bottom parts of it. Okay, so what I like to do here is just add a little bit of oil. And also, when I add the oil, I like to add some butter. Um, so I just put like that of butter when I cut it, and pretty much that is it for now. And here in this skillet, I just like to add a little bit of water. And add this, guys, to cook a little bit. And pretty much that's what I like to do. So I just grab this guy and try to put the butter all over the skillet. So this is a cut iron and they're so good to cook, but some things can be a little bit messier when we use them. Uh, but the food is a very, very flavorful. So now that I have that, I will move it a little bit here to the medium 
or keep it like in the medium low, low kind of medium instead and just leave it in really low or just medium is like something in between. Now that everything is there, I have right here the chicken breast and I'm just going to add them in the skillet to get that little beautiful line and let it cook here for a couple of minutes. So I have this little um, container. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of heavy cream. I think that's enough. And what I like to do, I have some mustard. And I like to open it. And that's enough. I know that probably looks like a lot, but it's not. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic as well. Some ground ginger. Some black pepper. Some salt. Now all you need to do is mix this guy, so pretty much this is like the sauce. Okay, so this one pretty much is kind of done. So what I like to do now, I need to like a little bit of the water and then take this back. So now I just have them right here without any water or anything and I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. And when I do that, I also add the broccoli so I put both together. because I'm gonna use it now here to make the sauce and do all that good stuff. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be adding the sauce, you guys remember. Um, so I'm just going to be adding this guys first in here. So I have the chicken broth that I'm going to be using. So we just need to pour just a little bit. to grab all the other stuff to so the onions with the apples and now all we need to do is just let it sit for about five minutes top it off wait five minutes so now I'm just going to So now I'm just going to add the chicken. I think probably I'm just going to cut it at like in a half first. for about five more minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and low, to shimmer all that in the sauce. I know it probably looks weird, but this is so good and so yummy. Okay, so 
So now we open it. And it looks kind of funny, but this is so delicious and yummy. So now pretty much here I do have the little plate. So I'm just going to grab a piece. the onions make it to look pretty and grab that little salsa put some in there okay so this is our dinner for tonight like this is so yummy Honestly, this is like one of my favorites. It's just chicken with apple and onions. I know when you put it together, it will be like, oh, what? That sounds awful. But it's so good and you have something really healthy and green. I love my greens. I always have a shot of greens and I can't live without veggies. And this is so good and so delicious. Like honestly, this is all my favorite meals of the day. Like I hope you guys like this video. And trying to cook, do something. Like let me know what is your favorite meal if you have tried some of this stuff too. <sighs> I can't wait to eat this honestly. And Little Man is eating the same thing like us. I always try to keep it in the loop because sometimes he, he don't want to do that so I give something different for him. But pretty much this is what we eat. Not every day but sometimes in a while. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video cooking with me today and what is my favorite food. Um, so I share my secrets and some things I do at home so I don't have to go and eat out often. You know, I just cook it at home and it's better. So. I just want to let you know that I thought I went to school, so I do have a degree in dental and I do have a degree in cooking. So, that's like my favorite things, you know, like I love food, but also so if you have your teeth very dirty so I can clean it for you, you know, probably one day it can be like a restaurant and near to the restaurant make a dental office. I think that will be a good idea. Um, so yeah, so this is my food for today. I hope you guys have so much fun with me cooking. Um, so yeah, I will see you in my next video. So stay blessed, have a good day, have a good weekend, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. We're gonna be using the oven. So the first thing I'm going to be kneading is going to be a. Uh, why do I always forget the name? So, I will need this tray. 